Alright, first topic on the matter. To all you gay and bossy boys that think I'm fat, ask your mama how fat I am. Nigga, 6'7, 315 pounds, solid nigga. I'm gonna dump you in your fucking head. So don't worry about my height. The girl, the girl loves my height and my weight. And that mean stroke and lay down her, her fat ass. Now check this out. Nah, <laughs> on, some, on another note, check this out. This guy, this guy is a comedian, Corey Holcomb. Yo, I love him and his podcast team, man. The motherfuckers keep straight facts and they keep it real. They don't give a fuck who get hurt, who's offended, who's not offended, you know? So, I want to give him and his, his team a big-ass shout-out, man. Enough respect. Um, Lonzo, Corey Holcomb, and um, what's her name? Darlene. Ice T's baby mama. <laughs> Yo, check this out. Now, after I got, I got that out the way, I want to talk about some real shit, yo. About these athletes that have the high bodyguards, but still do fuckboy shit. All right. Now, this is this was 2006. I was in Atlanta. And I was bodyguard for Pac-Man Jones, Adam Pac-Man Jones. I play for um, the Bengals now. I forget. He was, he was suspended this time. He was suspended. He was supposed to be um, getting reinstated. So we in um, promote, promote clubs, dreams, ATL. Not a strip club. It's a hot ass um, club. It held like 8,800 people. It's in Decatur, Georgia. Hot spot. Oscar, you owe me owe me a free VIP when I get there again, nigga. All right, that's the owner. So I'm a damn bodyguard, this dude, right? So we in the VIP section. A little scuffle breaks out between him and some chick. I'm like, all right, yo, I'm like, I broke this shit up. Calm that shit down. So I'm like, all right, man. Don't you got to um, be prepared for you to take your test and shit? You know, he had to take another drug test before he came back in. He's like, oh, I got this shit, man. I got this shit. You ain't my babysitter. You just here to protect me. Make sure I don't do nothing to me. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, bro. No problem. Now, this clown-ass nigga, right? He goes into the VIP bathroom. Nigga in there like 20 minutes. I'm like, and he had a cheap, he brought a chick in there, but I'm like, he's too fuck, too inebriated. So, you know, I got to check on make sure he's all right. Get in the bathroom. Yo, this nigga is ass naked, sweating, laying on the floor. The chick, the chick that ransacked him, went through his pockets a whole nine. Pulled out money and shit. I catch you that. So I boom, I snatched the chick up, grab his money. So I'm trying to get this nigga dressed. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up. You gotta get a grown ass man dressed. You dig? I don't. Can we grown men? I don't want to dress another grown man. It ain't like it's my brother or my cousin. It's, it's a employer. You dig? So I get this nigga halfway. I get this nigga dressed. He go back out. Send VIP. Fifteen minutes later, go in the bathroom. This time by himself. I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Going again, same thing. He asked nigga again. So it was me. It was one of the other um, security I had on staff. So we go in there. We get this, yeah, yo, we taking this nigga home. So as we taking this nigga home, this nigga just get brawling and shit. Like yo, fuck you, fuck this. I beat your ass, fuck up. Da da da. Ah, this and this now. Like what, nigga? You hired me to protect you. I'm trying to get you home safe, bruh, and get you out of this atmosphere before you fuck up your career. Never. Yo, this motherfucker was animated like he wanted to do, son. So he, he rushed. I choked this nigga up, right? I had him in a choke, choking him up. Hold him for a minute, like, yo, chill out. I'm about to put you to sleep. So I tell my man, like, yo, grab, grab the car keys from this dude. I threw this nigga in the back seat. I got a back seat with him because this nigga didn't want to. He didn't even want to, um, Lee, he wanted to drive. I'm like, no, nigga, you're not driving. We had a car key, threw him in the back seat. I had my man drive. I'm holding this nigga down. Took this nigga back to the hotel we got him from. Get the car keys to his um, manager. Like, yo, do not let this nigga drive tonight. He's fucked up, all that. Um, it was like, he was like, we already got paid anyway, so it wasn't nothing. But he was like, oh, yo, he hit us off with a tip for take care of him. This clown ass nigga, the next time I seen him, I was working for, um, 
Shorty Low. Same spot. So this nigga seen me working for Shorty Low, and he was all fucked up. He was like, oh, what's up? Acting like we was cool and shit, right? He had some goons with him and shit. So I'm like, all right, let's, all right, that's what it is. It's nothing major. What's up? What I, da, 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 whatever. He was like, yo, can you do me a favor? Can you walk me to my car? I'm, I'm looking at Shorty Low like, what's, what's, what's fuck up with this nigga, bruh? He was like, yo. Bro, it's a setup, bro. I don't want to do it. Cause I had, no, it's like four of my team there, but if it was real, I would have walked into his car. My three, my three man would have held down shorty low, with no problem, right? But yo, this the vibe, the vibe that was coming off this cat radiated bullshit. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm like, yeah, I walk into your car. On some, on some, on some G shit. I didn't give a fuck. I want to see what was gonna happen. At, you know what I'm saying? You know, I had the pistol on me. He was ready for whatever happened, happened, whatever. Yo, he tried to have his man's and body, he had his man and the bodyguard he had working for me still on me. He was, this nigga wasn't no real bodyguard. He was, they were some street niggas. I knew what it was from the rip. I just wanted to get out the way. So he tried to steal on me, whatever, on some bitch shit. So while I'm chipping these niggas the fuck up and the security from the club running out there, help me chip these niggas the fuck up. Yo, bruh, I saved your career, nigga. I could have had you all on ESPN, nigga. You would have never touched the football again. You should salute me, motherfucker. I'm saying it now because the shit's old. It's 2007, nigga. You should salute me. Word is mine. Because I was airing your boys out. Your security was weak as hell, too. By my lonely, man. Hey, you know, and, you, and word is mine, when you see this, you know it's the truth, bro. You can't even fucking lie. Club Dreams ATL. Decatur, Georgia, bruh. You know what I'm saying? A little hood story, a little, a little story, not hood story, a bodyguard story. Dealing with these whack ass, some of these whack ass clients. You know what I mean? But yo, you nigga, you my nigga, you know. You, you apologize to me and give me five stacks of that shit because I beat you up, your bodyguards the fuck up. Remember that. But nah, yo, I just, a little, little bodyguard story, man. Dealing with celebrities, you get a lot of stories. You don't really tell them because at the time you're doing the confidentiality shit. I'm still doing confidentiality, but with this guy, man, it was said totally different. He went against the grain so I could put him out there. And I know a couple other things went against the grain, and you're going to hear about them motherfuckers soon too. But yo, peace is born to Vangala Law. Yo, I'm out.